welcome to Michelle Sews Again. I'm Michelle. It is day 16 of Vlogmas. Holy cow, we're getting there. Um, okay, so in today's episode of my favorite Makes Countdown Advent for Vlogmas, I'm presenting you my rose gold sequin duster. Um, I don't get to wear this as often as I would like, but if I was going to the office, you can damn sure bet I'd wear it. So, here's the story here. I get ads on Instagram and Facebook and all that, just like everybody does. And I shop at Anthropology a lot, so I get a lot of their ads scrolling through my feeds. And in late spring, early summer last year, I got this ad for a silver sequence duster from Anthropology. And I just thought it looked phenomenal. And if you've followed me at all, you know I like colorful, I like glitzy, I like shiny. So I am not afraid of a little bit of sequin, a little bit. <laughs> so this is definitely something that when I made it, I made it with the intention of wearing it to the office. So I know not everybody would wear something like this to the office, but I would. So let me show you the inspiration photo from Anthropology, And then I went on for a search for a long duster. It wasn't difficult to find. And this was actually before I knew how to read sizing on patterns. So I actually bought this. It's a Simplicity pattern. It's the S8059. And I lucked out that it fit. Um, because I didn't know better <laughs> when I made this. And um, I bought the pattern and the fabric on Amazon. I didn't want to spend a ton on this. And to get nice sequins for the amount of fabric that I needed would have been holy hell expensive. This was not that expensive. I want to say it was like 30 something dollars for a five yard run from Amazon. So, but I will warn you, you get what you pay for. So if you, I've mentioned this jacket on the channel before and it sheds like a mofo. We had rose gold sequins everywhere in our old house. It has moved with us. I've only taken this out two, maybe three times now, um, but we still have rose gold sequins even before I pulled it out of the closet because it just doesn't go away. <laughs> um, so I will warn you that if I were to make this again, I might splurge for the more expensive sequins that might not shed. This wasn't super difficult to sew with. Um, I didn't break any needles. Um, and yeah, so I love it. I knew when I saw the silver one, I was like, I can make that, but I want it in rose gold. So I searched for the rose gold sequins. Um, I will show you how I've styled it here. I've styled it for you two different ways. One is with this um, white um, woven square neck type top that is ready to wear. Um, it's got really thin, super thin um, gold and silver threads running through it. So I like to mix metals so I didn't have a problem mixing the gold and silver with the rose gold. And I had paired that shirt with this fun um, flower. It's lucite flowers with different oh this one's turned around with different like gemstones um rhinestones and you know none of it's like real stones but is that not the funnest necklace again i bought this from anthropology um more than likely uh i've had this for a really long time i'm pretty sure that i bought it on their extra like sale extra sale on sale stuff so they run 40 percent off their sale stuff fairly regularly and i'm fairly certain i bought this then i i used to shop on anthropology a lot i rarely ever spent full price it was almost always their 40 percent off sale stuff when i did make a purchase because the prices are redonkulous um all right so the first styling is with the white woven top, jeans, and my rose gold wedges that make me like three or four inches taller. <laughs> so I love those wedges. They're super comfortable. And I just thought the rose gold with the rose gold would look nice. 
The second styling is with the just um, a really neutral outfit underneath. It's this black v-neck t-shirt, just a basic t-shirt, my um, forest green faux suede jeggings that I made with my Rebecca Page skinny jeans pattern and some uh, leopard print Steve Madden van style sneakers. And I paired that with a um, kind of like a, it's a gold, but it's like a dark gold um, feather, metal feather style necklace that I got from Stella and Dot. I believe that one is still available on Stella and Dot, even though I bought it years ago. I think it's one of their top sellers. Um, and I thought that looked really, really cute. Um, so those are my two stylings. This is another one of my favorites. Um, I know that a rose gold sequin duster isn't for everybody, especially for everyday wear. Let me know, would you wear this to the office? Tell me, tell me. Um, or would you save it for a special occasion or would you not wear it at all? <laughs> Let me know. Um, anyway, uh, I do have a review. I, I might have a review on this pattern. If I do, I will link it up here. Um, and that's it for me today. Wherever you are, I hope the weather's amazing. I hope you're able to get some sewing in and I will see you tomorrow. Bye.